Hey, what's up everybody? It's Albie, and today we're going to be talking about the March 13th, 2017 Banned and Restricted announcement. So, they have decided not to change anything in any format. There were no standard bans, no modern bans, no vintage bans. There was also no unbannings as well. And so I just kind of want to give my opinions on this. When I did one of these videos, when Gitaxian Probe uh, and Golgari Grave Troll and uh, the standard bans happened, the video went over really well. It had a nice amount of comments on it as well as a nice amount of, you know, likes on it. So that was really cool. And I figured I'd do another one. The banned and restricted announcement just came out 10 minutes ago. So I have a little bit of time here. I'm going to go ahead and try and make the video really quickly, edit it up really quickly, and then get it out to you guys as soon as I possibly can. So they have decided not to ban anything, and I think that this is a great, great move on their part. I also believe that nothing should be banned. Um, there was obviously the argument for uh, Hope of Kieran getting banned and for Snake getting banned and um, uh, Felidar Guardian or Sahili, one of those getting banned. And I believe that they made the right choice. I personally would not have banned anything. There might be a four-color Sahili ban, um, or not a four-color Sahili ban, but just banning Cat in general um, because of the rise of four-color Sahili when they make the announcement next month in April. Right now, I think that the way things are, things are perfectly fine. There's probably going to be another answer to the combo printed in Amonkhet um, that will see a lot of play, and I think that um, Wizards knows what they're doing. If people can just, you know, put up with these combos that they don't like for another month, then I think things will be um, perfectly fine. Like, Wizards knows exactly what's coming out in Amonkhet. They know the cards that need to be banned because they didn't print answers for. So I think, I think things will be fine. I think that we're going to have a really nice uh, standard format for now and a nice... Uh, modern format for now as well. In modern, they were talking about banning Death Shadow. I also think that Death Shadow is a really good card, but I also don't think that it's worth banning, and I think they made the right decision there. Um, there's really just no reason to ban it. Like, it's a really good deck, obviously, but a deck that encourages you to uh, lose a lot of your life kind of is a pretty big setback. Like, people just automatically think that life is an asset in magic and that you can afford to uh sign in blood yourself and do all these other things to lose small increments of life that's perfectly fine but when you're purposefully doing like 13 damage to yourself eventually that's going to add up um against certain decks so sometimes death shadow can have kind of weird uh, matches like that where they just can't win because they put themselves at too low of a life total or the fact that the deck only runs like eight creatures maybe nine if you're counting street wraith but nobody actually cast Street Wraith, they just uh, cycle it for two life. So yeah, I think Modern seems fine right now as well. Um, I played Modern at my shop on Friday, I played Merfolk, and I went 2-1, and one, which is pretty good because I'm not exactly a Modern player, my only loss was to uh, Ad Nauseam, um, which Ad Nauseam is also just a really good deck right now too, it seems like it's going to be the uh, the best, it seems like the best combo deck right now in um, in modern, either that or like pure steel paladin combo, but um, ad nauseum ends up putting up better results. So I think ad nauseum is just the best combo deck right now in modern. Uh, the final thing that I kind of wanted to touch on here is why people were freaking out so much over this bend and restricted announcement. Um, and part of it was because of what happened in January. In January, we saw the first standard banning since like a long time ago. It had been several years since there had been a standard banning and they banned three cards and so when you ban three cards like that wizards ended up kind of setting forward the precedent like we're capable of doing standard bans and we are going to exercise that power that we have and start banning standard cards so i think it kind of put the idea into everyone's head after last standard banning that everyone just figured there was just going to be another banning to come forward. But um, I think that for the way things are right now in the formats, I think they made the right call. I think everything is perfectly fine. Um, obviously, I don't like the precedent that was set forward that they can just be like, at any like at any point, we can just ban like the best cards in Standard again. Because um, I think Standard is one of those formats where you don't necessarily need to ban cards. Like, obviously, you're going to print good cards, um, but they only stick around for like two years. So if you can wait out those two years, the card's gone. It's not really worth the banning. But um, I was also in favor of not banning Emrakul, and I was like the only person who was in favor of not banning Emrakul. So I can see 
that my opinion is probably um, not amongst everyone else's here again. But again, I'm just here to share my opinion, and I'm here to receive your opinion as well. Um, I absolutely love hearing from you guys in the comments. You always have like great things to say, great uh, constructive comments as well as productive comments uh, that you know um, allow us to make or allow us to have some good conversations about uh, this amazing game. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the video. Tell me down below in the comments what were your opinions on the fact that there was no bannings. What would have you banned? What would you have unbanned? Probably Reflector Mage. Reflector Mage probably doesn't need to be banned, but whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do in April after uh, Amonkhet is out and they make another uh, ban and restricted announcement. So go ahead and leave a like on the video if you guys want me to do these for future uh, ban and restricted announcements. Um, yeah, leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Definitely uh, comment down below as well. I always love hearing your opinions. That's one of my favorite uh, parts of doing YouTube is being able to hear uh, the opinions of everybody else who watches my videos. I just absolutely love getting to do that and getting to talk with you guys. So, um, yeah, leave a like on the video. Comment down below. All that other shenanigans. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, subscribed yet and I'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching the video peace